Greetings once again, mortals. It's B, casually off to one side so you can see my awesome coffin shelf. Got that from Coffin Couple Gifts. I will try to link them somewhere in the description. So you guys, I know I don't look it, or maybe I do. I feel it. I definitely feel it. I am sick right now, and that is why you have not been hearing from me. Maybe you can hear it a little bit. It's not so much in this region so much as it's in this region now. It's like progressing downward. I don't know. Essentially, I look how I feel. This was happening. So today, I have a couple of boxes that I would like to unbox for you on the camera for the YouTube. I actually got these items. One of them I got a couple of weeks ago, and then one of them I got earlier this, this week? This week? Last week? This week. This week. And the reason that I haven't opened them or filmed them just yet is one, because I'm sick, two, the first box I ordered and received, uh, and then the day that I received it I was like pending filming, and then I saw advertisement for the second box and I was like, wait a minute, I have to have that. So I just waited for the second box to come in so that I could open them together at the same time, because it just... It, makes it easier on me. I do have to put out a little bit of a warning to anybody who might be squeamish or bothered by dead things because that's what I'm opening up. Basically the first box is uh, human bones. I ordered what I think are called uh, tarsals and a metatarsal. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know bones. I don't that's not that was not in my uh, in my, my medical schooling so my, my job is veins. That's, that's my area of responsibility. <laughs> and then the second package is a little tiny octopus. I already have a couple of dead things in my collection. Back here on this shelf, I don't know if you can see that, that shelf right there. I have a heart in a jar uh, that's from a 12 foot long Burmese python. And then over here, somewhere, somewhere up, up here, I have a bottle with a cobra in it. It turns out that it is wine. It's called Cobra Wine. I can't remember what the like actual official term is for it. It's actually part of a really disgusting trade in Asia where they drown a snake in wine and people drink it. Had I known that, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I got it in an antique shop and they said that they got it from an estate sale. They didn't know anything about it, so I was just like, oh cool, wet specimen. I thought it was in formaldehyde. Turns out it's not formaldehyde, it's wine. No, I'm not going to drink it because that is disgusting. So without further ado, let's open up the first box. The first box is from Craniates Curiosities. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. I, you know, I used to be really good at pronunciation and now I'm just not anymore. I found them on Facebook. I'm part of a Facebook group um, that buys and sells oddities and things like that. Um, so I'll, I will try to link their Facebook page and the other person's Facebook page in the description so that you can find them as well if you're interested in the same stuff. They gave me their business card. I don't know, can you see that? That is the back with their little information on there. Yeah, so I got one metatarsal, which is a toe bone, because dead man's toe, anybody? And then four tarsals, which are ankle bones. Basically, this was a um, buy five deal, like you get five bones for $40. So originally, I just wanted the toe bone, but they were like, oh, if you buy four more bones, we'll give it to you for $40 instead of $10 each. So I, I kind of had to just snag. And there are peanuts. And we have bubble wrap. Y'all know one of my favorite, most treasured things in life is bubble wrap. The trick is that it's all taped and I don't know where the tape ends or begins or where. There? Maybe? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, these are so creepy and cool. Oh my gosh! These are just so creepy and cool. They're surprisingly light. I did not expect human bones to be this light. So there is one of your tarsals. That's what one of your ankle bones looks like, in case you were wondering. And then this is a toe bone. This is a real life, or real dead, uh, dead man's toe. I'm like tripping right now because these are like, wow. Like just imagining like these were inside of some person's body at one point. 
Now, I'm not entirely sure on the source, because these are human bones, like these came from a person's body. Um, I'm not entirely sure the source, like, that they get it from. I'm pretty sure these are, like, medical specimens that, like, schools don't use anymore or need anymore. So you're not buying, like, some poor murder victim. I mean, I guess they could be a murder victim, but, like, that donated their body to science or something like that. It's not like they were just, like, murdered and, oh, we're gonna sell their body parts. Like, that's not, that's not a, th that's not a thing that's happening. So, a lot of you might be questioning, uh, what I plan to use these for. Those of you who are not new to my channel, because some of you might be new watching this video, know that I totally dig divination and things like that. I will probably try to utilize them for bone throwing, which is a very old form of divination. Uh, the toe bone, I originally wanted to use as, like, a... As weird as it sounds like a good luck charm, um, toes are associated with good luck. So I was gonna make like a, like, not like a keychain, because my keys get banged around so much. Um, maybe like a pendant or just some kind of charm or something like that, but I just feel like, I don't know, I, I, I probably will utilize that in uh, the bone throwing. I'll probably try to find some other items as well to include. I am on the hunt for teeth. Um, I was originally going to order some teeth from somebody and I ended up not. Um, so I'll probably order some from them. I just want like a good like... Headful. Once again, Craniate's Curiosities. Um, I will try to link them down below. Next, I'm going to open up my octopus. It says on the box, Fragile. Must be Italian. So I got this from King Arts and Oddities. They are also on Facebook and oh my gosh, they are such nice people. So they put out an advertisement in the group and I totally had to snag it. I love like sea creatures, octo octopi, octopi, cephalopods. We're gonna go with cephalopods because that's just easier to throw a plural on there. Cephalopods are some of my favorite sea creatures. If I could have a live one, I totally would. But I don't, I don't really do the whole captivity thing. Except maybe ball pythons. But, I mean, he's pretty content with where he is right now. So, this little tiny baby octopus was $20. I think it was uh, $15 for the octopus in a jar. And then another $5 for shipping. The problem was, um, the lady that I ordered from, she goes by Ash, uh, was having some problems with PayPal not giving her her money. So for a little bit, um, she wasn't able to ship the package, and when she did, she was like really apologetic about it, and I was like, dude, you're a human being, like, it happens, you know what I mean? It's really important when you're ordering from people, individuals, that you understand that they're human and things happen, and don't get mad at them unless like they're legit screwing you over. So this guy is packed in like newspaper. So she said that because it is a fresh specimen they're kind of made to order to expect a little bit of um like color bleeding. Like the octopus is not bleeding but the color is um bleeding into the liquid. Um she said to change the liquid after like a week or so which he's in I think 70% she said 70% to 90% alcohol. Um, a lot of people don't know you can preserve specimens in that. A lot of people are like, oh, formaldehyde. It doesn't have to be formaldehyde. It doesn't have to be formalin. A lot of the time you can store in alcohol. Like my little heart back there is in alcohol. Oh, he's a tiny little thing. Oh, oh, baby, oh. I think he somehow got flipped in the, um, in the shipping. I would like to flip him over. I'll probably have to grab some gloves from work and like flip him over physically myself. Oh, and they put my little name on top. So let's see this little tiny baby. Oh, let's, let's shelter some of that light over there, some of that reflective. Um, little teeny tiny baby octopus. Oh my gosh, he's so cute and so tiny. I'll probably go ahead and change the liquid here in like, I don't know, a week or so. Um, that way the liquid is nice and fresh and then I can just flip him over. And then I think she said after you change the liquid, you can like seal it and everything so that it can't be opened again. Um, but then again, I've also heard that um, with wet specimens, you kind of have to change the liquid sometimes because over time, it kind of, um, the, the items still break down a little bit. So it's kind of, you gotta kind of change it every few months depending on like what, 
what it is. But he's very, very cute. I kind of like the jar he's in, and at the same time, I mean, because it has my name on it, I'm not going to show it to you, because some of you guys don't know my government name, and I don't need you knowing my government name. I do like that it has my name on it, it's kind of like a personal kind of touch and everything, um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, maybe I, I might put him in something a little tiny bit, like, shorter, but at the same time, I don't know, I kind of, I'll, I'll ponder it. The next question is, you guys, what am I going to name him? And do we want to gender the octopus? Is that something we want to do? Do we want to start gendering cephalopods? How do you determine if a cephalopod is a male or a female? I heard that they can change that. I heard... I don't know. I have to have to go back to my sources because I used to know these things and then I lost my passion for them. So if you have any suggestions for a name, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. So you guys, I am very impressed and very excited to be getting these new babies. I will probably make room for my little octopus somewhere back there on my coffin shelf. I'm very excited about the coffin shelf. I don't know if you could tell. I've had it for like weeks and just I hadn't hung it up and then you know, there it is. 10 out of 10 would order from these people again. They stayed in really good contact with me and they were very quick to send my items out to me and they very well packaged them. Everything was packaged up really nice. There was no damage to any of my items and they were all really reasonably priced. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for weird, creepy, dead things to definitely go with the couple of vendors that um, I have displayed here. Another note, um, please don't sell your own body parts to people. <laughs> a couple of people I have seen, I'm part of a few different groups on Facebook that sell oddities and people are like, oh, I have a tooth that I got pulled or I have a, you know, I lost my finger or something like that. Don't sell your body parts to strangers on the internet. As someone who practices witchcraft on the reg, I don't recommend it. The person whose bones I'm using is long gone and dead, um, but you don't want to, as a living person, give your body parts to a stranger. Like, the only reason that I don't take my own hair from the salon floor is because I don't think that there are any witches in the salon that would take my hair and use it against me. Or for anything malicious, for that matter. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and these new babies as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe, send a message to Pigeon, all of that stuff. Leave your comments down below, I love to hear from you. I am now on the new social media app, uh, Vero. I don't know if you guys are on it, I don't know if you've heard of it. If you have one, go ahead and follow me at the B spot. Same way it's spelled on this channel, wherever it's either up here, or it's down there, or it's... It's somewhere. I don't know. But same spelling. I'm debating on getting a Twitter. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to me about it. We'll discuss. But definitely follow me on Vero. I would like to be able to connect with you and communicate with you and keep you up to date. I've been trying to post on there every day things that are kind of relevant. So if you want to see more content that's maybe not a whole video but I post a lot of pictures. Um, I've been taking advantage of their music recommendations, um, some videos, things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.